What is going on guys, this is Waffa here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we continued processing the chief fruit and the seed makers and replanting them, and I think this episode we're going to be harvesting the last chief fruit needed to finally finish up this quest, because uh, I think last episode we sold, oh yeah, Cape Patrol, I guess we could do that too. I, and by the way, I guess yeah, I failed the uh, Robin's resource rush for what, a thousand wood or whatever, even though I was only like a hundred wood away from that, but whatever, we already finished that like, what, three, four, five, six times or whatever now? Yeah. Not that big of a deal, but yeah, we have 85 chi fruit already sold. We're going to get like 400 something later this episode. I don't think it's today. I think it's tomorrow. So definitely and my inventory is I can full because we got a bunch of trash, including chi seeds. Anyways, yeah, we got Gungus over here. Right click on her. We got some bait there and we have free iridium ore over here. And I believe Prumbus, like we're no longer able to throw Prumbus up in the air. He's just kind of like a toddler that can't like crawl around yet. He's kind of in that in between stage. So at least we can still right click on him. But anyways, Penny over here. Ah, the spring cleaning. I'm actually going to enjoy this. Yeah, I bet so, because my heckin' place is a mess. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, oh, and you can see the rabbit's feet in my inventory, yeah. So last episode, we started giving rabbit's feet to basically everyone at the bottom of our uh, friendship list. Kind of get them up, because apparently that's like one of the things that a lot of people love, except for one person. And you guys commented saying that one person is actually Penny, so that's actually a good thing. She's already, I'm like, I'm literally married to her and everything. Like, she's maxed out, so I guess that's good. It's not like I'm going to need to give her any rabbit's feet or anything like that, but we can give Sandy another one. We can give Leo a duck feather. We didn't give him anything yesterday. He was sleeping, so that's kind of unfortunate. And give Krobus another one of those rabbit's feet. Uh, Gungus, I guess we just have to keep right-clicking on her. Can't gift her anything, unfortunately. Shane, give him another rabbit's foot. Same thing with Alex, and then Prumbus, same thing there. Where we just have to right-click on him. And then uh, eventually, he's going to be full hearts, too. I wonder what happens if you actually get full hearts on one of your kids. That'd be pretty interesting to find out. A hundred episodes from now or something stupid, right? We do have a lot of the, uh, what are they called, chi fruit actually done, except for the ones up here where the genos can't actually reach. I kind of want to go gift some uh, rabbit's feet and duck feather and all that kind of stuff before people end up sleeping like Leo last episode. So let me try and plant these real quick. Go check the other uh, Genemo hut, see if there's any more chi fruit over there we can go pick up. 38 more. Okay, it's not that bad. We have, what, 85 already shipped, and yeah, more chi fruit over there to the right that the uh, Genemos couldn't reach, so let's go grab those real quick. And I guess we're going to have, like, I don't know, 150 or whatever these things already shipped. And then tomorrow, like I said, we're going to get, like, 400 more, so it doesn't matter. We're going to hit that 500, no problemo. Oh, yeah, and it's salmon berry season. I, I, I guess we can continue picking salmon berries. It's not that big of a deal, because we have so many, like, melons and whatnot that I'm using for sustenance, so it doesn't make sense for us to go out of our way and get salmon berries, but it's kind of a tradition. I guess we can get them if we see them, right? But uh, what was I doing? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I was selling the chief. So we have 112 right there. So we're going to have like almost 200 of these things shipped now. That's going to be really, really crazy, you guys. Let's go over to let's figure out where Leo is. Is he on the island or is he here in his treehouse? He is hanging out with Leo or uh, Linus over there, I guess. I think Linus is maxed out. I don't think we have to give him anything, but we can give Leo something, right? Yeah, look at that. He's hanging out at uh, Linus's. And Le speaking of a heckin' flute, we got uh, Abigail over there, which, by the way, Abigail won the uh, egg hunt thing last episode. We lost it on purpose so we could hopefully get one of the kids, especially the new kid in town, Leo, to hopefully win the egg hunt festival. But no, Abigail won it again. I'm pretty sure she won it the first time around. I won it the last two years, and then she won it again this year. So I guess the kids can never actually win. Golly. <laughs> But anyways, let's give him a uh, duck feather because he loves duck feathers. So we might as well save the uh, rabbit's foot. There you go. I love this. I'm going to put it in my nest. Yeah, he says, oh, oh, I thought he was maxed out because it was purple. It has to be a purple star, I think, to indicate that it's actually maxed out, right? Nine out of ten right there with the dwarf. I skipped out on whatever he said right there. <laughs> Man, I need to stop doing that because we have the more dialogue mod installed and whatnot. Golly. All right, uh, town, let's go over to Krobus. Oh, yeah, and then we'd have that special quest to do something like kill skeletons in the mines or something. I guess we could do that later this episode because we haven't been to the mines in forever and it'll break up all the gameplay of like the cheese seeds and all the guest stuff we've been doing for the longest time. So that'd be pretty fun. Rasmodius is a good man. He's one of the few humans beside you who am I would trust. His worldview is in much better alignment with reality than most humans. That's actually kind of funny to say. <laughs> He's a literal wizard, right? But anyways, what am I doing over here? Giving him, yeah, the rabbit's foot, which I'm pretty sure he loved too, because everyone loves it except for one person, and apparently that one person's penny, like you guys keep saying. This is an amazing gift for my people. It is a great honor to receive something like this. All right, well, let's go give, who else? Ali oh yeah, let's see where Alex is, and I guess we can give Shane. He's probably going to be in the saloon again. Yes, he is, and Alex is indeed over there with Evelyn and George, so let's go give them their gifts, and I guess Sandy could be the last second person, huh? Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do this again because this would count as the second gift we're giving to people this week. So uh, we're going to have to wait until next. Golly, seven out of eight. 
Well, then again, that's, that's basically the same as 9 out of 10, right? Oh, wow, Waffle, how'd you know this is my favorite? Because I gave it to you like two times already before, golly. Life isn't so bad. At least I have frozen pizza and eggs. That's <laughs> such a weird thing to say. Let's go figure out where Alex is. Is he in his room? He is. Okay, so it uh, looks like George is over there sleeping. Let's give another rabbit's foot. Iridium star rabbit's foot. Now he's at five out of eight hearts. Golly. Oh, so what does that mission actually want us to do? Hold on. Cave patrol. The number, yes. Number is, I need to kill 50 skeletons. Golly. Now, does this say skull cavern or... I think it says like just yeah just straight up mines it doesn't say skull cavern sandy let's give you a gift nine out of ten hearts still and need to remember just casually talk to them too because that gets hearts too hi stay as long as you like well i'm about to leave because i'm going to go test out skeleton and stuff uh the air conditioning sure feels nice doesn't it? yeah even in real life golly it's the middle of summer it's literally july right now <laughs> was it 11 o'clock we don't have that much time yeah it's 11 cheats like if I if I could figure out what layer specifically that they appear on, I could actually go down to that layer specifically and see if we can find some skeletons. Which I'm a skeleton myself. Look at my heckin' outfit. So, so I, I'd blend in. I could sneak up on him, right? All right. So it looks like the skeletons do spawn in the railer mines. It doesn't say anything about the skull cavern, but it says that they spawn 71 to 79. Okay, that's very specific. I'm glad I looked that up. Yeah, 71 to 79. Let's go down here. Let's even come across any skeleton. Okay, is that a skeleton? No, it's a. Is that a skeleton? Like, I can hear bones rattling and stuff. I, yeah, we just got bone fragments right there, so. There's number two, boom. Yeah, I definitely want to get bombs, and we can buy bombs from the dwarf, so. The heck, is, does that guy count as a skeleton? The heck, a skeleton head? I don't know. Hold on, so, how many have we killed right now? We've killed three. Let's see if we can kill this guy, see if this counts. Does that count? Does that count as four? No, okay, so the actual physical skeletons, those are the only ones that count, unfortunately, so. Man, it's still 10 right now, though. Okay, let's go down another layer. That, uh, yeah, that guy doesn't count. That, that guy doesn't count either, so. I don't know. What in the world? Oh, yeah, we got a cheesy randomly right there. We have a skeleton right here, though, so let's see if we can kill him real quick. Do some good damage and get number four. That's that's pretty good. We almost have 10% of them down here, you guys. Another one down here. No, it's just a skeleton head again! Or a skull, golly. Oh, I keep calling him a skeleton <laughs> I'm like, I'm not wrong. It's the same thing, right? <laughs> Hold on. Kill that skeleton! And the skeleton head! We got an artifact from man! Yeah, we need to get those because we need to get a few of those. Man, hold on. I'm trying to find the way out of here. We got another skeleton guy. We need to get a few of those things in order. Okay, there you go. He dropped the way down. Okay, good, good, good. So we can get the heck out of here. Is that. Heck is this stuff? Oh, it's like. Uh, whatever that is. What is this one? Oh, it's iron. Okay, it looked different. It looked like a completely different ore for some reason. Maybe it's the lighting. I don't know. But I know it's inventory is like full of rabbit's feet and fruit and stuff like that. So. 110 p.m. No, not the town. Not the town. Let's go to the, the bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. Is my horse still here? He's not. Okay, summon him in. Play that little tune. I think that song is different every time I play the flute, so that's pretty cool. Oh man, I just fell asleep next to my egg and chest. Okay, whatever. And I've had this cog wheel in my inventory for like five episodes. Let's finally give it the penny. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure today we're going to get a bunch of chi fruit and we could just sell them immediately, right? And by the way, I don't know if we get money from chi fruit. It doesn't make sense if you do, because it's for a mission, right? And you get money from them, or you get chi gems from the mission. Something like that. Let's grab those bad boys. And where's God? Is Prumbus? I almost called him Gungan. Is Prumbus walking around? Is he crawling around now? He might have been in just a, a crawling in the in the crib phase for only like a few days. There he is! Oh my gosh! Little Prumbus! Oh, he's got little building blocks and everything. Oh, so cute. Hey there, Penny. Looks like I'm all prepared for work. Be sure to take good care of yourself today. I will, Penny. Hug and kiss. There you go. And give her a cogwheel. I've meant to give that to her for a long time. This looks special. She's going to use that to teach the kids about machinery or whatever. Oh yeah, let's gra yeah, grab some bombs. That's going to be very helpful in the mines to get the skeletons and all the kind of stuff. Let's get some uh, espresso going through my veins. Oh, and there's little Gungus running around with her pirate hat on. Oh, and can I give... Is Prumbus too small? Can I give him a hat? Let's look at the uh, the thing, see if there's any cool hats here. Fedora chicken mask, hard hat. Oh, he's got building blocks. Maybe he's trying to be, be a little construction worker when he grows up. I don't know. Let's give him a construction hat. Hold on. Come on, don't go down the stairs. That's dangerous as heck. Can you give that to him? I guess I can't. I guess he's too small. Okay. I guess Prumbus has to be as big as Gungus in order to get a hat. If we go out here, oh my gosh. Well, the Janine was going to be heckin' busy as heck, so I might as well help him out. And I need to get some of the garlic seeds to help uh, replant in their place. Uh, garlic and put four to yeah. So same thing as uh, garlic. Uh, we can get arsenic. So I guess I'll because we're almost out of garlic seeds. Yeah, we're at three left, so yeah. Plant those down, and then, uh, boom, there goes all the garlic. So, uh, plant parsnips in their place, I suppose, huh? So, there you go. Yeah, let me, uh, get all these chi fruit. So, we have 197 already shipped. Like, almost 300 in our inventory, if not 300 by the time we actually get these. Yeah, 79 right there. Yeah, 367. 
Man. But anyways, yeah, uh, let's go to the mines, and we'll explode a bunch of bombs over on level 71 through 79, and hopefully we can kill a bunch more skeletons and finish up that mission for Clint, or whoever it was. Oh man, we have a cutscene for... Is this Leo or Linus? Because I'm pretty sure Linus has been full for a while. We've already had his cutscenes, right? Oh wait, no! It must be for Leo. Yeah, look at that. Good answer, Leo, says Penny. Leo has a heart. So it's supposed to be like Leo blending in to society here and everyone being, oh, there you got one lad. <laughs> and there's Jazz, Leo, where's Vincent at? Are they playing hide and seek or something like that? Oh, wait, what was that? Why did he get scared by Jazz noticing him? What was this? Now we're in his treehouse. Leo's just talking to his parrot friend. <laughs> that was a great day. Even though I got spooked off by Jazz, she was jumping rope and I was hiding in a bush creepily. <laughs> you know, I still miss my family back on the island. You were literally just there. You can go back there whenever you want. You can ride Willie's boat back there whenever, right? For free. You don't have to pay a thousand gold like I have to. But mostly, I feel happy about the memories. Not sad. That's good. And I really feel like I belong here. That's great. So this must be his heart event for, what, like eight hearts or something like that? Or maybe we're just catching up. Maybe this is for like six hearts or something. I don't know. It's a beautiful world, friends. Yeah, he's got more birds up there too. Yeah, not just that parrot. And I'm glad to be a part of it. That's awesome. Am I going to show up? Am I going to like creepily walk through his door as his... Okay, thankfully not. <laughs> I guess we're just watching that from a distance, huh? But got dismounted from my horse for some reason there. Oh yeah, we guess, I don't know, like I said, I'm not going to go out of my way to get the salmon berries and stuff like that, but let's go to the mines and go down level 71, I believe, and uh, start killing some heckin' skeletons, even though I'm a skeleton myself. Whoa, jeez, we've got like 10 skeletons there, what the heck? I guess we lay down a bomb here, but the bombs don't really do good damage to stuff, they just do- Oh, and there's another- Man, look at that! What was it, six skeletons? Five skeletons all at once? Golly, another one up here, glad I checked before I went down that staircase. We got more bone fret. Yeah, we need to use those in the bone mill to get like random stuff, right? We got skeleton the left and right, but over there to the right, we got a skeleton head. Yeah, we got the way down right there, so that's pretty valuable. So how many do we already have? Like 10 or something? Oh yeah, cheese crap. 13, man, that's amazing. Yeah, two skeletons and a skeleton head. Skull guy. <laughs> man, yeah, I don't know. It's five, 10, we might have enough time to actually get to, I don't know, about 50, maybe 40, 35, something like that. If we keep coming across skeletons here, just once we hit level 79, 80, just go back to level 71. Um, a diamond, what in the world, where did we get that? It dropped from a skeleton? Or, I don't think we actually broke a diamond block right there. Three more skeleton fellas, holy, and that one's shooting stuff at a, what in the heck? <laughs> All right, well, there you go, slice those guys up. We got a random, what is that, like a fire bat or something like that? I don't know, but uh, hold on. How many? Man, I wish there was like a way to. There's probably a mod out there that like keeps progress on the screen, so you don't have to keep checking over here. But 20 out of 50, yeah, doing a great job so far. And we already have the way down right here. Yep, let's go down. And we got a heckin' fire bat right there. But yeah, three, two skeletons right here and one skull guy. Too bad they don't count, but uh. Oh, I got frozen in place right there. Well, they both dropped the thing right there, but let's go down. Got another frozen tier. We can get that to Sebastian, but he's already full, so don't need to worry about that. Got another skeleton guy right here. We're actually getting kind of low on health. So might want to take something real quick. Uh, yeah, we got these, like, spring onions I picked up. I don't know when, but we've had in my inventory for the longest time. <laughs> so there you go. Get those going. Uh, is there any more? Yeah, it's just a bat and a skull guy, so just ignore them. So we can come across another skeleton. No skeleton here. Man. All right, well, ah, let me see if I can find the way down here. Oh my god. Okay, there you go. We got the way down right there. Good. And we're getting some stone. Yeah, we need that for uh, staircases for the cheese hungry challenge if we ever get that. We made the level 75, so that's awesome. And, uh, we need to get another espresso. Get some more health out of those salmon berries. Golly. I get one health from the chief fruit. I was about to say, like, we have so many. And richer. Wait, what? When did I get that? At least on a sprinkler and load with fertilizer. Don't you have to buy those for like a lot from the cheese shop? And we just got them during this for free? Man, that's pretty good if so. But uh, yeah, just put them on the sprinklers and I guess it just automatically fertilizes it. I assume it does it in the morning. Hold on, does it say automatically apply it when planting? I guess, yeah, just when you're planting seeds, it'll automatically apply it. So that's pretty interesting there, but. Let's go down to level 70. That's going to be a guaranteed staircase there. And then boom, 71. As if we can come across any more skeletons here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We have to leave the mines like in general in order to. Uh... Oh, wait. No. When the world this guy respawned back in, I guess. Uh, there you go. Kill this guy. 
What the heck? Why does he have so much health? What the cheese? There we go. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll just leave the mine and then go back down to level 70. On the skeleton right here. Boom, got him. Oh, another man. Yeah, they're kind of blending in. So I might have missed some skeletons that I didn't notice because blend into the background so much, you know? Got a couple more skeleton fellas over here. Slice them up. And there we go. So we're at like halfway point now. Or are we at 25? We're at 30. Oh my gosh. It's 920. So if I can keep coming across skeletons at this rate. Oh man, I took some damage right there. Uh, I don't know if we we'll actually. Yeah, look at how much he blends in there, you guys. You have to really notice them. So let's get these guys and then go down this. We got another bone sword. How many bone swords have I gotten throughout this whole, whole entire playthrough, you guys? It's crazy. There you go, another skeleton down. Another one down. Yep, another two down here. Awesome. Now it's 950. Hopefully we can get to 40. That's my over. Oh man, another one to live. That's what I'm talking about. They blend in so much. We're at like 35 or something like that right now or something. And I'm a skeleton myself too, so I don't know why I'm not blending in quite as much. We're at 36 now. Golly, that's amazing. Do a mega bomb here in the middle. Uh, health is actually kind of low at uh, yellow, so might want to watch out for that. I didn't even get a staircase right there. I might just leave and come back or something. I don't know. Leave the mine and then go back in here. Do we have any food in here on my left? That's been, I, I guess. We, we kind of, we have fish. I could eat those. All right, ate all those fish. I'm basically full health right now. I'm amazing. Let's go back to 70, 71, and kill even more skeletons. I only need to kill like, what, 14 more? As there's like a song in the background that's playing, it sounds like they're playing on some. <laughs> Playing on a ribcage. <laughs> they're, they're definitely playing the song on a heckin' ribcage. It sounds like it, cartoonishly. Man, yeah, there's a lot of skeletons on this layer. I just killed like three of them. Here's another one right here. Is this number 40? Or maybe 41? 40, yeah, amazing. And he dropped the stairs. Or ladder. You guys know what it meant. Golly, I always come up the wrong I can think. And two more skeletons. Man, amazing. Health is kind of it's about halfway right now, so might want to start watching out for another skeleton there to the right. Hold on, is this the last? Oh, another man, another two right there. This might be the last two I need. Holy heck, this is awesome. So I don't, I don't think we ever actually finished a Clint, like 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 him hiring us to kill a certain amount of enemies in the mines. I don't know if we ever finished one of those special requests. So just need to kill one more. Is there another? No, there's not one down there. Come on. Uh, maybe I'll take a staircase. It's 12:50. It's getting really late. Yeah, there's none down here. Man. I don't see any, I don't see any staircases, I don't see anything to get out of here with, man! I don't want to fall asleep in the mines, it's 110, golly! I'm not coming across them at all! Ah, I guess I'll leave, okay, leave the mine. We'll get the last one tomorrow then, jeez, it's 1.30! Go to the bus stop, ride the horse. Go, 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 it's 1.30, I'm going to make it, because I, I still need to sell these overnight, remember that. Don't want to fall asleep in the mines and miss out on selling these heckin' chief fruit and whatnot. 421, golly, that's insane. And we even have some uh, stuff right here to grab. No! Okay, at least time is paused in the background when I'm summoning my horse right there. Uh, time is appreciating my amazing horse fleet skills. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I need there. We got 54 bone fragments today. Not too bad. What do we need to spend like 10 of them in the bone mills to actually get stuff out of them or something like that? I don't know, but uh, I might as well just fall asleep up here. There you go. Putting bones in the bone. Okay, there you go. Wait, what in the world? Was it only like five? I think it's only five. Yeah, holy heck. Well, at least. Oh! And there we go, I think that's the mission indeed completing, so how many Chi Gems did we get? Wait, how many uh, Artifact Trows? Let me check my notes. I know I'm saving up a specific amount of Artifact Trows in order to, uh, I need 27 of them. Okay, so how many Omni Geos do I need to trade that guy? Like five to get one on, or uh, one Artifact Trove or something like that, so at least we're going to get like 22, 23 or something like that here in just a bit if we go to the desert, but... Uh, oh, and look at that. Oh, God. Why is Prumbus over there playing with pointy cacti? He needs to get away from them. Let's right click on him, though. There you go. <laughs> uh, anyways, morning busy work. You guys know the deal. And uh, I guess we'll go to the mines and kill a skeleton. And I guess we'll be good to go, right? Oh, man. We got another iridium, uh, iridium a rabbit afoot right there. Cool. So we can continue gifting that to people next week because we already gifted uh, all the lower people this week. So we kind of hit a limit there. Did we give Leo two gifts? Because I know we missed one day. I don't know if he's maxed out now. Yeah, we can give him another. Okay, let's give him another duck feather today. Oh, and then Pierre, for some reason, I guess he's not maxed out. I guess we'll go to his shop and give him a Iridium Rabbit's foot too. So that'll be good. Everyone else that's at the bottom of the list. Yep, gift, gift there. And Haley's already maxed out. Sebastian, all them. And then Jazz. I guess we can give her a gift too. But what do we know that she loves? Oh, yeah, like flowers and stuff. Fairy Rose. Oh, yeah, and then we have this Enricher. So I guess I could put that on one of the, what are they called, Iridium sprinklers around here. I guess we could do that. And then, because we have so many, how many Chi Gems? We have 107. What the? How many Chi? Hold on. I've got pulled up in my notes here somewhere. 
I have literally all the chi quests. I'm like, keep it track of it. I'm going to put a big fat check mark next to this one right here, cheese crop, which gives us a hundred. What? Golly, it gives us a hundred. Well, that makes sense because we had like 74 or whatever before, but now we have 174. Man, amazing. Now all we need to do is cheese hunger challenge. Cheese kindness to give 50 love gifts in one week. That'll be a pretty good challenge there. But then again, we know about the rabbit's foot thing. Should I save my rabbit's feet for this? So 50 love to get how many rabbit's feet do I have? I know I don't have that many of them. Man, I definitely should have saved that. Golly. Because we're, we're not getting like tons of rabbit's feet every day or anything like that. We have 12 there, and then we have okay, so we have 16. Man. I, I guess we'll give a fairy rose to Jazz. There you go. Just so we save the rabbit's feet, but 16. Ah, I wish we had more. Uh, Skull Cavern Invasion. The Skull Cavern has been invaded by powerful monsters. Make it to level 100 in one piece. That's separate from Cheese Hunky Challenge, where we have to make it to level 100 without eating. So that one's easier than Cheese Hunky Challenge. And then Cheese Prismatic Grange, where you have to find 100 to each red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple items to place them in his collection block. Collection a box. 14 days to do that. So relatively easy, I'd say. Uh, but for right now, I guess we'll, yeah, let's put it here. Yeah, it goes on top there. And I guess, what do we do? Just load regular, like, speak, speak real fertilizer inside that? And, I don't know, 32, that sounds like a good number. So, how do we, how do we do, oh, wait, here we go, yeah. And it's just one slot, so yeah, like, speak real fertilizer. I don't know how I think it's 24 around this actual sprinkler, but 32, that, that's more than enough. So, that's good. All right, let's go to the desert. Let's see if we can trade these uh, 11 Omni Geos for any artifact trolls. I'm pretty sure it's five for one artifact trolls, so most we're going to get is probably just, oh man, there's a, uh, hold on, let's see what this is. And then, ah, mixed seeds, whatever, not that big of a deal. Hopefully it was uh, something better than that, but, oh yeah, it is five. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get two more. I think we have 20 at home, so that means we need to get five more. And then I'll open up all the artifact trolls and hopefully come across that like ancient hatchet head or whatever that was, the other thing too. All right, let's go over to, yeah, I guess we'll go to the dwarf, go over to the mines. Actually, is Leo even there or is he on the island? He, he, oh, wait, where is that? They're like right over here. Are they like fishing together or something like that? I think they are. I think I just saw Leo's head like, yeah, I, I guess they are just watching the water right there. Give him another duck feather and he's still not maxed out. What? Let's just casually talk to him too. That didn't make him max out. It felt bad at first to leave the island and set foot in a strange land. But I got used to it after a while. I'm a very flexible person. I bet you are, and I bet you're actually physically flexible too. <laughs> but anyways, while we're here in the area, let's go to the mines, go kill like a skeleton. Oh, there's the singular skeleton. Actually, you know what? Let's kill him with the heckin' bomb. Mega bomb, two, three. No, I'm gonna kill myself! Ah! I didn't even kill him, what? Mega bomb time! I wanna kill him with a mega bomb. It's probably not even going to count if I kill him with a mega bomb, right? There you go, two mega bombs right there. That didn't even kill, what? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. The bombs do like no deck and damage to anything. Golly, there you go. Bunch of bombs right there, jeez. Actually count right there? I almost killed myself too, I'm at half health. <laughs> but I think that did indeed count because we just got the notification right there. I just barely heard it over all the explosive sound effects right there, jeez. So we finally finished up. Yep, cave patrol for Clint. Got 6,000 gold, actually a decent amount of money. We only get like 2,000 from Robin's resource rush. Oh yeah, let's go find Jazz. Go give her that fairy rose, and I guess that's it, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything, because I'm purposely not giving, and we can't give anyone else, like, crobas and the dwarf and stuff like that anyways, because I already given the two gifts of the week, so I don't know what else to do for the rest of the day, you guys. I, I guess we can go over to the island, go over to the Mr. Cheese, see if we can buy anything good over there, maybe just get more of those sprinkler things or something else, I don't know. Let's see where Jazz is down here. I guess we can get some salmon berries. This is still salmon berry season, amazingly. Where is she, though? She's not here. She's probably over by that big tree, huh? Uh, but let me just pick all these heckin' salmon berries. I'm pretty sure today is the last day, so might as well make use of it before salmon berry season ends, right? Yeah, so, oh, oh yep, yeah, she's under that tree right there. So let's give her the fairy rose. And she is indeed maxed out. I'm pretty sure she was maxed out before, but maybe I gifted her something that was bad and she went down or something. I don't know. I like school. Sometimes it's hard to sit inside for so long, but Miss Penny is the best. Are you just saying that because I'm her husband? I don't know. She's really smart, too. I'm pretty sure she's just saying that because I'm her husband. <laughs> she just kind of had to throw in that whole she's so smart thing right there. I know, it's, uh, I guess I'll just spend the rest of the heckin' day getting thousands of salmon berries over here. It's going to last me for the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, this mouse with the hat shop. I guess we can see if there's any new hats and anything new goofy hats I can get. Cat ears, mouse ears, butterfly bow. Actually, is there anything? Because I don't know when Prumbus is actually going to be able to wear a hat, but once he actually grows up to be big enough to wear a hat, which hat should he wear? Earmuffs? Kind of looks like headphones. Let's do that. That seems pretty cool. 
Tropic Clip. That's only like two pixels. Why would I spend a thousand gold on two pixels? Jeez. Mm, I'm not crazy about Blue Bonnet. That'd be pretty funny to see on a horse if it even works. What do I look like goofily with that heckin' bonnet on my head? Let's see. <laughs> with sunglasses too, golly. <laughs> I look so ridiculous. Look at that. All right, I think I got all the bushes. If not, then like 99% of them here in the Cinder Sap Forest. So I think it's about time we leave. Oh, yep, this one. Okay, this is now the 100%. There we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, never mind this one right here. This uh, never we got to cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Look at all these egg and salmon berry bushes down here. I need to get some espresso in my veins so I can move a little bit faster. And I still need to go to the island and spend these heckin' cheese gems. But uh, there we go. Now we got all of them here in the Cinder Sap Forest, I'm pretty sure. And with that, we have 180. So yeah, we actually straight up doubled them right there. So that's awesome. But let's go back to the farm. And let's go take the teleporter back to the island. And I guess we'll see what we could buy with the 170 something cheese gems that I saved up. If anything, maybe I'll get that like Pierre stock list or whatever that's called. Get that done out of the way. And if there's nothing else that kind of piques my interest, maybe I'll get some more of those enrichers or whatever. Golly, I'm going to take care of that. Man, we might just barely have enough time for me to get all the heck of coffee beans over here. But I just processed like another thousand of them earlier in this episode. And I'm going to get another thousand from those. Golly. All right, I'm over here at Cheese Walnut Room or whatever this is officially called. Is that OK? This is the quest one. Oh, yeah, I didn't get a quest for this week. Whoops. Cheese on your challenge. We only have four days to do that. I don't know. Each score. I already did that one. I forget about it. only 10. Golly. Well, at least this mission that we just spent like what 18 days on, we got 10 times the amount that we got there. But man, that took me like 18 in real life days to do in general. Yeah, not doing that, but maybe I'll do Cheese Hungry Challenge. Just kind of just just to have that, you know, maybe next episode we'll see how many stone we have because right now we don't have like any. Yeah, I'll have staircase in my inventory, but I know we have them stockpiled over at the uh, whatever it's called, the Genimo Chess Horse Flute. We already have that. Pure's missing stock list. I don't think I have that yet. So if I buy this, yeah, there's not like a second one randomly. So that's cool. Yeah, you get four in Richards for 20. So we basically got like five free Chi Gems when we got one, ra one random in Richard. Golly, but is there anything else here that's really worth it though? Galaxy Soul G's. We have one. I can buy two more for 80 and still have like 44 left over. So should I do that? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Like, at least I bought the stock list. Now that's the, I just, what? Why is that like a physical thing, though? I, I guess I have to put it up in somewhere in storage, I guess. Or give it to Pierre. Do I have to give that to Pierre? Hold on. Yeah, it says Pierre might be injured. I guess we give that to Pierre. So that would be what we're using that for. So I'm just going to go up in storage randomly, I guess. Maybe we'll do that next episode. But other than that, I'm not really seeing anything other than maybe the enricher. Just so we have more of them, you know, but at the same time, I'm not crazy about it. Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think I should buy. Maybe I'll get the Galaxy Soul and then get two more of those and then combine them with the one we already have and then get the Galaxy Sword upgraded to true form, final form, whatever it's called. That'd be pretty cool. At least we actually got something right there, the cheese or the pure missing stock list, all the kind of stuff. But now I need to spend a few hours getting heckin' coffee beans. So let me do that real quick and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. And Probably go home, go to sleep, and do the outro, and start looking forward to next episode, where I guess we're going to try and do the Cheese Hungry Challenge yet again, and maybe we're going to be more prepared this time around. Well, let's just go home, and I don't know. We have enough time. Yeah, I think I'll do another round of coffee beans in the heckin' keg shed over here. I think I have enough time to do that. All right, let's go to bed. It's 1.40 a.m. Jeez, there you go. And in the morning time, I guess we'll put that, uh, whatever it's called, bonnet. We'll put that on Gungus, see what it looks like on her. There you go. So, yeah, so I sold a bunch of garlic. I don't know if about regrow it now oh, we have enough time to regrow it i guess we'll do that next episode when we go over to pierre we can buy some more seeds from him spread away what golly we got spreading weeds again i thought i did a good job of taking care of that i guess not but gungus take your pirate hat on wait hold on did i give that to her i feel like i gave her a bonnet but do i have one up in storage if so that means i already had one before i don't see one. Oh yeah it's probably the pink bow i guess that fits her better than the blue bonnet right but so she'll face this way. I want to see her facing this. I want to see her keep face with a bonnet around it. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, we can. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Where is Prumbus? Maybe he couldn't wear whatever that could. Maybe he couldn't wear the construction hat specifically, but maybe he could wear the pirate hat. I don't even know where he's at. What in the world? Is he straight up gone or is he down here with the ancient alien escaped it? Yeah, he's out here with the escaped ancient alien. Yeah, I can't give him a hat just yet. I, I guess you have to wait until he actually walks around and Gungus. Oh, 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 speaking of walking around, there goes Gungus with a little bonnet on her head. Oh, she's so cute. And now she's stuck because there's a heckin' chest in her way, right? But, well, anyways, oh yeah, and then headphones. Let's see what, or was it earmuffs or whatever? I get, that looks kind of cool. I don't, I'm not crazy about it though, but maybe if she faces this way, I can actually see it better. But there she is with headphones on her, you know, 
earmuffs, whatever it's specifically supposed to be, but you have a pirate hat back there. It is. <laughs> I still think that's my favorite, the pirate hat. But anyways, we'll worry about giving her hats and stuff like that in the next episode, as well as giving the stock list to Pierre next episode, too, and maybe buy more seeds from him, too. Because I think, isn't this supposed to make it where we can buy seeds, like, all year round seeds from Pierre? Like, no matter what season. It's just like the, the night market person or, or something like that, right? Uh, Penny has to say, it's really nice seeing my mom proud of me. I wondered briefly if she'd be jealous of me. Ooh, but that turned out not to be a problem. Okay, that's good. And hug and kiss, and we have more fertilizer up there if we need to take care of it. Pretty sure we have more chi- Oh, wait, hold on. Did all the chi fruit just, like, disappear over here? I think it did. Because all the chi beans, like, disappeared when if we failed the mission last time, right? Anyways, not that big of a deal. It's only worth, like, one gold anyways if I uh, got any extras. But, uh, outro time, I guess. <laughs> So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And when you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as the next episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you don't miss it. And be sure to let me know what you guys think about what should I spend all these chi gems on next episode. And there's really nothing else that I'm crazy about getting. Like after this Pierre Stockless thing and maybe those Enricher thingies, like I'm not really interested in buying anything else and we still have like how many 124 chi gems after this oh yeah on the galaxy so i get I, like that's probably the main thing i'm leaning towards those galaxies whole things and we have one already so we'll, have, we'll still have like 44 chi gems after we buy two of those right yeah we have one i don't even remember when i got that but uh, maybe we'll combine those together with the galaxy sword or galaxy hammer i don't know let me know in the comments down below which galaxy weapon should i actually upgrade with those galaxy souls if i do indeed do it next episode let me know in the comments down below maybe the galaxy hammer maybe the galaxy sword or maybe something else i don't know uh, in the mail though we got bombs but not from kent we got it from clint the blacksmith um uh, hello uh, thanks for helping me clear out more monsters maybe next time i'll take care of them myself if i have time uh, take this item i found it in the back rooms yeah 10 random bombs just in your back rooms god what's with everyone just having random bombs just laying around and they're like hey you know what this might be a good thing to mail to someone <laughs> you know but anyway, like, yeah, 10 bombs. Is that still going to be 10 cherry bombs next episode when we open up the mailbox again? I don't know, but what I do know is this is the end of the episode. So <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there.